In this video, we're going to learn how to make a simple calculator program in C using a switch statement. So the first thing we'll do is declare a variable to store the operator, either addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So we'll have car and then operator to declare the variable. We'll also declare variables to store the two operands. In other words, the two numbers in the operation. So we'll have double and then operand one and operand two. We've used type double so we can have numbers with decimal places. Then we'll prompt the user to enter the operator. So we'll have printf with the string, enter operator plus minus multiplication or division as the operator and then colon. So printf will output the string to the terminal. The user will then enter the operator. We'll use scanf to store the operator the user enters into the variable operator. So we'll have scanf and then percent %c to accept a character from user input. Then we'll have and operator as the second argument to store that character that's entered into the variable operator. And operator is going to pass what's called a pointer to in other words, the memory address of this variable here to the scanf function. And the scanf function can actually use that memory address. It can use that pointer to actually set the operator variable to the character that's entered. Next, we'll use printf to prompt the user to enter the two operands, the two numbers. So we'll have printf and then enter operands with numbers in brackets and then colon. And again, we'll use scanf to store the two numbers that are entered into the variables operand one and operand two. So we'll have scanf, this time with percent %lf and then space percent %lf to accept two double values as input. And we'll have and operand one and and operand two. And again, we're going to store the two numbers that are entered as input into these variables using scanf. Next, we we'll use a switch statement to handle each operator differently. So we'll have switch and then operator. So this switch statement is going to look at the value that's stored in operator. Then we can have a case for each potential operator. So we'll have case and then plus here for addition. So in the case that the operator is plus for addition, then we're going to add together the two operands and output the result. So we'll have a printf here and we'll output the two operands separated by the plus symbol is equal to the result of the addition. So we'll have percent %f plus percent %f is equal to percent %f. Where percent %f is a placeholder which will allow us to output a double value. With scanf we have to use percent %lf for double variables, but with printf, we can just use percent %f. What we'll output is both operands and the resulting sum. We'll also have here a backslash n for a new line. That's going to output a new line after outputting this line of text. So we'll have here operand one and operand two, and we'll also output here operand one plus operand two. So we're going to output operand one in the place of this placeholder and operand two in the place of this placeholder and the result of adding together operand one and operand two in the place of this placeholder. Then once this is done, we're going to have break here. We usually put break after the end of the code for each case in a switch statement because if we don't, the execution of the statements in the switch is going to continue into the next case. We'll now make a case for subtraction. So we'll have case, and this time we'll have minus here for subtraction. And we'll have printf again. And again, we'll output the two operands separated by the minus character. So we'll have percent %f minus percent %f is equal to percent %f followed by a new line. And again, we'll output operand one and operand two, and this time we'll output operand one minus operand two. 
then again, we'll have a break here. So if we didn't have this break here and the user did enter the plus symbol for the operator, then this printf here would execute. But because there would be no break here, this printf here would also execute. Because this break is here, what's going to happen is after this statement executes, execution is going to jump down here below this switch statement. Let's make the cases for multiplication and division. So we'll have case and then multiplication. We'll have printf. Again, we'll output the two operands. So we'll have percent %f times percent %f is equal to percent %f followed by a new line. And we'll have operand one and operand two and operand one multiplied by operand two. And then finally, we'll have for division, after we put in our break here, case and division this time, and we'll have printf with percent %f divided by percent %f is equal to percent %f followed by a new line and we'll have operand one and operand two and operand one divided by operand two. We'll also have one more case. We're going to have a default case. So after this break here, we'll have a default case where if none of these cases matched, then the code underneath default is going to execute. So we'll have default and we'll output here invalid operator entered followed by a new line. So we're going to output invalid operator entered because if the operator did not match plus minus multiplication or division, the user must have entered an invalid operator character. Now we don't have to have a break after this default case here because the switch statement doesn't have any more statements left anyways. We can now try a program out. So if we save, compile, and run the program and enter in, let's say, multiplication here, and let's say five and six, we'll get here that five times six is 30, which is correct. We could try it again. This time we'll pick division and we'll have maybe five and 2.3. And we'll get here five divided by 2.3 is 2.173913, which is also correct. We could try it one more time. This time, we'll enter in the operator at, which is not valid. We'll enter in two and five, and we'll get here invalid operator entered. So our program is working. So this is how we can build a simple calculator program using a switch statement in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.